You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring scripture and all things related to it. New episodes are released daily. For more information, check out glossahouse.com and subscribe to our channels on Spotify and YouTube. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I am Michael Halcom and this is a Hebrew vocabulary episode, which means the intent is to grow our Hebrew vocabulary. And we do that just one word at a time. We've been looking at Hebrew roots and we're following them sort of in frequency, uh, in terms of frequency throughout the Hebrew uh, scriptures. And today's Hebrew root is Yod Resh Dalet Yared. Yared. Yod Resh Dalet Yared. And it means go down. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up stepbible.org, and we're just going to look at this real quick. This will be a short episode. Yared, Yod Resh Dalet. I got my keyboard set to Hebrew. I'm going to go to search. I'm going to type in, um, ooh, there we go. It froze on me for a second. Yod Resh Dalet, and boom, it pops up. You can see that the name Jared and Jordan are sort of different forms or related forms of this. The Yarden, uh, as far as Jordan goes, has that noon on the end, the final noon. Uh, Yared, in terms of Jared, doesn't. But this is Yarad, Yarad, Yarad. Um, really uh, comments in a patak there. This occurs about 380 times, means to go down. Um, so we're going to look at it here and uh, see where, well, I thought we were going to look at it. Didn't really pop up here. Um, Step Bible has been acting kind of slow today. Let's try it again and see what happens. Yeah, unfortunately, Step Bible is not really working. Let's try a two letter lookup um, and see what that gives us. I was going to uh, just read a couple passages, but yeah, Step Bible's uh, having a hard time. So let's go over to two letter lookup. And we'll type in Yarad here and see what it gives us. There we go, Yarad, to descend, to bring down. Uh, you can see the different forms um, of this verb. To go down, descend, decline, march down, sink down, to go or come down. Sink, be prostrated, is like to fall down, come down, bring down, send down. take down, <coughs> let down, be brought down, taken down. Yeah. Um, Let's see if we can uh, find some instances here uh, in the Old Testament. It takes us to Step Bible. And here we go, our first instance. And the Lord came down to see the city. So we have Vayared, uh, Vayared, 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 rather, in terms of pronunciation. In Genesis eleven seven, 7, uh, just a couple verses later, come, let us go down. We have the Nerada. So remember when you have the Yod, uh, Often you have that like noon there, it, the yod will get swallowed up, it'll fall away. Uh, in Genesis 12.10 we have Vayared, same thing we had before I think, and same thing in 15.11, Vayared. In 18.21 we have that thing with the Aleph is the first letter, and then we have a Tzere, a vowel underneath it, so uh, Ereda, Ereda Na, Ereda Na. Let's just look at a couple more here. And in Genesis twenty four sixteen, we have Vatered, uh, Vatered, Vatered, rather. I mispronounced it before. Vatered. And then in 24, 18, Vatored. So we're going to see a lot of different forms here in Genesis. And then even in uh, 24, 45, Vatered. And then um, in 24, 46, Vatored. Some very fascinating stuff here. And um, oh, I'm not sure we were actually looking at Genesis. Sorry, I didn't switch over. So 11:5, uh, Bayared. Um, 11:7, Nareda. And then 12:10, uh, Bayared. And 15:11, Bayared. Um, Ereda. Vatered. Vatored. Vatered. Vatored. So all kinds of things going on here. Tered. Um, yeah, so pretty interesting. Sorry for that error not showing the screen earlier. Um, I don't really have 
um, a mnemonic device for this one, uh, but I can uh, something easy would just be to think of a guy named Jared walking down a hill, like a hiker walking down a hill. There goes Jared going down the mountain, going down the hill, hiking, um, something like that, just forming some simple mental image in the mind. So that's it for your Yorreshdalet, Yared, uh, Yarad. Um, and I'll stop there and say I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glow's House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glow's House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glowsahouse.com today. Glow's House, language resources for the global community.